welcome on my channel and welcome to something that I've been wanting to do for a very very long time and I just haven't had the time and courage to spend the money on um, but here we are press on nails have been a trend for a really really long time now it's been like two plus years ever since COVID started and everything was in lockdown and everything so as you know, might know on Instagram, if you follow me on Instagram, you would know that I've been on the train as well. And um, I wouldn't say I... I mean, I, I, <laughs> I don't know if I'm like a hardcore press-on nails kind of gal, but I do see the benefits. I mean, I see the advantages of it. It's cheaper, it's less damaging to the nails, and you can change it up anytime you want instead of waiting for number of weeks to go back to the nail shop to get it done to get the manicure taken off so I thought today um, I should try a set of press nails for you guys and test it out and see if it actually lasts for as long as it states it will last for so I've scoured the internet and I found a brand that I've actually <laughs> And I think it's good internet, but this is a brand I've actually bought from before and I haven't bought from them in a really really long time and I thought I would buy from them again to see if they have up their quality and the brand is none other than Kakiolas. This is the old box and this is the new box. Um, I'll show you the other design that I have currently. <laughs> Only one I have in the box, but this is the print, the cow print one, which I really really like and you've seen on my Instagram like a thousand times now but yeah it's one of my favorite favorite um designs from them and this time i thought i'd get something more simple so i got this one which is just a very simple short oval white nails and i've actually tried it yesterday night but then i took them off um mainly because i forgot to push my cuticle back and i realized that it stuck it gets i washed my hair this morning and it got stuck in my hair and like the, the, my hair got stuck in my nail so I was trying to think of what I didn't do and I didn't read the instructions and I didn't watch the video which you should probably watch the video but I thought it would be easy enough to not watch the video and I can just do it which turns out no I had to watch the video and I realized I didn't push my cuticles back so I'm gonna give it another chance a fair go and do all 10 nails at one time to make it a fair experiment and a controlled experiment I've learned enough in chemistry <laughs> uh, yeah so let's see if these pair of nails this set of nails last for two weeks as they have said it lasts for apparently 7 to 14 days so we'll see how long they last let's start okay so I realized what I didn't do is really like press onto the nail for 5 to 10 minutes. So I'm gonna do that today and see if it actually like if I fall in the instruction that doesn't last for 14 days, you know it's it's not my fault anymore. Anyways, okay, let's start. I'm gonna re-clean all of my nails and dry them out and Say sorry to one of them, to all of them. Okay, now that it's cleaned and like dry, I'm going to file them and make them rough. I have to refile these. They're actually really rough already. Okay, it's fine. We'll just, oh my god, I don't just want to do damage. Oh my goodness, okay one hand on camera and do one hand off camera so that you guys can see. I'm gonna push my cuticles back now. Then one by one. I have extra nail cats from last time that I bought from them so I'm gonna measure the sides. It's too big. Can I cut it down? No. I'm gonna just make sure that it matches from one side to the other side. Okay, can you see that it matches up? <clears throat> How am I supposed to show you that? Okay, there you go. 
Okay, I'm gonna really like press it in and make sure that it really sticks. Okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna turn it. It's tight. <laughs> okay. My bad. Okay, I'm gonna really make sure to really press it in. So I'm gonna be here for five minutes while I press it in. Okay, I found this brand off of Instagram actually and I found it because of Mama Bong. She is just so stunning and yeah, so I got I got sucked in and then I bought one of the sets and I'm now buying another one and this one on the card that they sent is so damn pretty. Just look at it. Oh my god, so pretty. Just the one I'm eyeing next. So yes. This is a new sticker set which I used yesterday. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's just me, but when I tried to like peel off the... You see how like I'm only peeling off the um, the paper, the plastic, whereas the entire sticker is still is still on the, the um, sheet itself. So I don't know how to really like peel this off properly to make sure that it doesn't do that. See? If anyone from Kakiology is watching this video, please tell me how to use it. And you have to be really, really careful to like peel the entire thing off and like don't want to touch the sticker so that it comes out as that one piece, but it's not letting me. But it comes out like a little bit like folded. Can you tell? Let me see if I can focus. Is it focusing? Please tell me it is. So, I can't really do anything about it unless I try to use my fingers to like smoothen it. It's definitely like a problem <laughs> and I don't like that. And so when you go and stick it onto your nail, like there's a portion of the nail that doesn't get enough sticker. I'll show you, wait. See how like the entire, this, this nail is not doesn't have enough sticker for like one portion of like the top portion here whereas like the rest of it has the sticker yeah that's the problem so what I did yesterday was I just tried to like smoothen it like that to make sure that it, it stretches over there okay I'm gonna go in from like the bottom first and then press it on. Okay. Like you can feel that it's like tight, tight. <laughs> Not out of focus. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna do this off camera and I'll be back to show you my full 10 nails. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm gonna watch some YouTube, I think. Okay. All my nails are on now. It's been not five minutes, more than that, way more than that, but this is what they look like. They're so cute. Let me show you in better lighting. If you hear like noise from outside, people, there are people over doing my, redoing the roof, so um, pardon the noise. Okay. Okay. They have now been all officially on and this will be start of hour one. So it's currently eleven oh eight, we'll count it as eleven o'clock. So we'll count it as eleven ten. That's better. Okay, so I'll check back in in an hour. Oh no, we'll do like a five hour check in. Eleven, twelve, one, two, three, three PM. Okay. I'm gonna do my econs and my work and I'll just go about the day as I usually do and I'll check in at, five, at 3 o'clock. There we go. <laughs> okay, bye. It's been almost 5 hours now. Eh? Yeah. And so, pardon the lighting, it's currently about to rain outside. This is the best lighting I can do. So they look like the moment. They still, I still have all of them and like, there's no like, oh, I spoke too fast. It kind of, it doesn't really get caught in my hair, so well, it does a little bit. Anyways, and this is what the other hand looks like. 
can see this. It passes the haircut test. Oh, my thumb, my thumb, my thumb, my thumb. Okay. Well, that's an update for you. As for now, I'm gonna sing and I'll see you at the end of the day. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> um, I told you I was going to do a check-in at 8 p.m. last night, but that didn't happen, as you can see. Um, but yeah, it's currently the next day, and it's 9.49 a.m. And I'm here to do my <laughs> first check-in of the day. Okay, I have bad news for you. Wait, let me try and put you somewhere so I can... Okay, I was doing my hair and combing my hair this morning, and I just... I roughly just run my hair, my fingers through my hair, and it kind of got, got stuck, as you can see, in my nail, and it's not good. Look, look, look. And it's only day two, people. So, yeah, I don't know what's up with that, but I'm also thinking it might be my fault because I, if you can tell, wait, let me try and focus. Wait, ah. Uh. Oh, God. Can you guys tell that this nail is more properly stuck on than, than this one. I'm gonna do it this way, you guys can see. Can you guys see? Wait, I'll try and turn on like the lights. Yeah? Wow, it's orange. Okay. Can you guys tell how this finger, this second finger, is more like, looks more like, like a rail gel <laughs> whereas this these two fingers have like a gap in between the nail and the um press on yeah so it might also be my fault <laughs> so yeah but anyways um we have all 10 nails still um they're all intact none have fallen off so that's great and Funny how when I said 10 nails portion, when we had 10, that we still have 10 nails, the time went to 2 2 2. Anyways, um, yeah, so as for now, like, the only annoying thing is that sometimes it gets caught in my, it gets caught in my hair, but that's like one out of the 10 times that I brush my fingers through my hair. Like, oh, no, I felt it. It's a thumb. It's both thumbs. Okay, anyways, it does sometimes get caught in my hair. That's the only, um, negative of it at the moment. None of them have fallen off. They're still all intact and they still look really cute. And uh, yeah, as for now, I still have all 10 nails. Okay, I might do another check-in like tonight just to see, or after I shower and wash my hair, just to see if they still are intact and what they're like after I shower. <clears throat> okay, as for now, I'm gonna go and do my thing, go, go about my day, and I will see you after my shower. Annyeong. Kinda half dried my hair, not fully dry yet, but just thought I'd give you an update on the nails as I promised. Didn't forget this time. But um, the nails didn't really get stuck in my hair. It did get stuck, like, it gets stuck sometimes. When I tried to scrub my hair like, like this, it didn't get stuck, so that's a yay for me, and it's a plus point because the last time when I did it with the really long nails, they got stuck, stuck, like stuck to my hair, and like, it was like it couldn't come out. So this time they get stuck, so I really, really, really like that, and it might have to do with like the length of the nails. I'm trying to see if I can find my old nails later without me grabbing the bottom plate. Like, like, like that. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Like this. So, it might have been because of the length of the nails that kind of got in the way of it. But, at least like this set doesn't do that and not get caught in my hair as much. Which I'm really happy about because that's the most annoying thing about press-ons. Like, other than that, like, I really do love press-ons. 
I don't think that Kageyaldos offers quite high quality nails if you guys are looking for an option. Um, despite getting caught in my hair. <laughs> but yeah. So, as of now, it is a 4 out of 5 for me. Hello! Oh my god, there's a hair strand that's stuck here. Okay. Welcome to day 4? Is it day 4? No, day 5. Sorry. <laughs> um, I feel like we might have one lost soldier tomorrow because when I just wash when I wash my hair just now, I can feel that my my nails are about to be yanked out. So yeah, but as for now, I have all ten of them. Um, five on this side and oh my god, and five on this side. But yeah, I think so far so good and I mean they still look good and they still look like brand new but in terms of how they feel um yeah I kind of want on them off I really want the first thumb off so not good <laughs> but other than that I think it's been pretty good so far it's not like really interfering with what I do on a daily basis even though I don't do much other than type my essay <laughs> but yeah it's been so good so far. It's been good so far. Other than the fact that my nail was almost yanked out by my hair when I was washing it. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Happy day six. And I'm starting to want this off more and more now. <laughs> um, um, when I was showering just now, like in the afternoon, Every single time I go and do this to my hair, it gets stuck, see? It's currently stuck now. Do you guys see? It's stuck. It's, it, it's definitely just stuck. <laughs> so, yeah, it happens like most of the time when I go and like scrub my hair. But I've realized that if I do this, it doesn't happen. But when I do this, oh, it happens. Oh, there. See? It's just all of them, not just one specific nail. So, yeah. That's my update for day 6, but at least we have still all 10 in place. So I guess like the glue is pretty strong and it holds up pretty well. So yeah, kind of going strong-ish. Considering that it's been 6 days and none of the nails have fallen off, other than that the, there's hair inside underneath the glue. <laughs> but yeah, 4.5 out of 5 so far. Okay, I'm gonna sleep. Good night. Don't mind my crazy makeup, but I just realized I haven't updated you in like days. So here is what the nails look like at the moment. Just one that's gone, as you guys saw in like day six, I think. But the other hand is still fine. So I think it's pretty damn long lasting. It's been eight to nine days now and it's still on intact and going strong. So. Yeah, I want to see when the next one will come off, so I'm going to wait for a few more days and then when that comes off, I'm going to take the entire thing off. As for now, they're going strong, but they do get stuck in my hair sometimes, but not as... Oh, there we go. See? It's the pinky. Ow, ow, okay. See, it pulls your hair out, you see? Yeah. I'm going to shower and uh, see how many hair strands I'm left with. At the end of my show. <laughs> Just kidding. But yeah, that's all for now. Bye. See you tomorrow. Oh my god. <laughs> okay.
<laughs> like these nails I have lost it's day 10 right yes day 10 and I've lost three nails already and I think I'm gonna take them off at the end of the night because they've just been on there for too long and I think my nails need to break by now so yeah I'm gonna leave them on till the night and then we'll take them off um final review I would say that um they last pretty well um except for the sticker portion where it's really hard to take off the sheet so you have to really what, what's wrong with me today you really have to um sort of find a certain way to take the sticker off the sheets or else it's going to be really hard to remove why do i look so it's it's kind of not the easiest to remove off the sheets so for that i'm minus one point so now it's a three out of five so final review do these last for seven to fourteen days yes they do <laughs> are they good quality yes they are um yeah, so I would recommend these if you were looking for press on nails. So, Kaki Olives press on nails are Jing Jing approved. Okay, 3 out of 5. Just because I think that the... Why am I so breathless? <laughs> the staying power of the nails are A+. They're actually pretty good. Like, for 10 days and losing 3 nails, it's honestly very very nice and then um for the quality of like the nails it's actually really high quality like handmade pressed on gel nails so it looks really realistic and uh yeah i really like it so two out of five for me that's like a 60 percent right yeah is it too low no, 3 out of 5. Just because the the nail sheet just really gave me a hard time. And like it getting stuck in my hair, like it's, that's also like the other point that I minused for it. But yeah. <laughs> okay, that wraps up my final review. I'm gonna go and sing and do my thing and get on with the day. <laughs> but yeah with that being said don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye